Hey, Wolf Pack. Today is Friday, February 12th. I'm Kent Passion. And I'm Giovanna Menes here with your distance learning announcements. It's Friday once again, so let's see what we have for Pop with Kaylee. What's popping, Wolf Pack? I'm Kaylee Yota, and this is Pop, where we pop in and show you post a pack. Where we use the hashtag COHS WPTV for a chance to be on our show. Now let's check out our Wolf of the Week, Ashley. Hi, I'm Ashley Espoleta, and I'm your Wolf of the Week. So on campus, I was able to participate in the girls varsity volleyball team where I was able to strengthen my physical and mental ability on the court as an athlete along with my teammates. I was also a part of Wing Crew where I got to meet a lot of you guys as a freshman and help you transition into your first year of high school. I was also part of band where I got to be more engaged and more in touch with my inner musician self. I was in band from seventh grade all the way to junior year where I got the opportunity to be in wind ensemble. Um, I also was a part of the medical careers pathway where I got to learn different aspects of healthcare and different job positions in the medical field. My advice for freshmen would be to build connections. I know it's very hard because we are currently living through a pandemic. We don't see each other in person on campus in class, other than in Zoom, but just by reaching out, building connections with people who you aren't familiar to, people who you don't know too well, can go a long way, not only for your health, but for the health of others as well. And just by doing simple things, such as an online movie night on Zoom, a distance picnic, contacting each other through social media, it can go a really long way. Oh, my favorite memory from SIA would have to be our junior prom. It's my favorite memory just because it's what I imagined it to be like, but very unique in its own way. It started out with my prom proposal, which took a lot of planning and setup, but it turned out really great at the end. Then from the fancy dinners to the photo shoots to dancing with your friends on the dance floor in an amazing ballroom and kudos to leadership and ASB for that. But overall, I was very fortunate enough to have a prom, especially before the pandemic. My favorite teacher and class would have to be Miss Wilson and the Medical Careers Pathway. My favorite teacher is Miss Wilson because she is sweet, caring, and supportive, not only as a teacher, but as a friend. My favorite class is the Pathway because I love learning about human anatomy and every aspect of the medical field. And when I'm in class, I feel like I'm a nurse conducting a procedure on an actual patient, which makes me love it even more. So if you do have an interest in the medical field, I'd suggest that you join the Medical Pathway. Thank you, Hashi. Good luck with the rest of the year. Well, that's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Kaylee Yota. See you all next week. Thanks, Kaylee. Now let's learn more about Stacey Abrams with Eden. Hey, Wolfpack, is Eden. And for Black History Month, today we're going to be talking about influential politician Stacey Abrams. So Stacey Abrams is a Georgian politician and attorney. She's the second of six children born to Reverend Carolyn and Reverend Robert Abrams. She attended Spelman College, University of Texas, Austin, and Yale Law School. She served in the Georgian House of Representatives and assumed office on January 8, 2007 and left November of 2017. Abrams started getting a lot of popularity though back in 2018 because she was the first black woman gubernatorial nominee for a major party in U.S. history ever. And then in that election, she won more votes for any Democratic nominee in Georgia's history. And even though she lost, she was able to launch the Fight Fair organization, which tackles voter suppression and mismanagement for elections. Her book, Our Time Is Now, was released in 2020 and is a guide to ending voter suppression. It also tells her account of how the right to vote and principles of democracy have been under attack in the U.S. Abrams also played a huge role in the 2020 presidential election. She led the people of Georgia in turning a historically red state blue. She did this with extensive work in increasing voter turnout in Georgia. In most recent achievements, Stacey Abrams has been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize for her work in voting rights activism. I think we can all appreciate for how hard Stacey Abrams works for something she believes in. Well, that's it for me, Wolfpack. Back to you, Lakers. If you are interested in playing on the 2021 girls golf team, we are looking for golf. Please contact our coach, Ernest Spencer, at the email provided if you are interested in playing on the team this year. The 2021 swim rule runs 
from March 8th to April 30th. To register, scan this QR code. Registrations will be accepted until March 5th, 20, 2021. For more sports sign up information, here are some people you should contact. And that's all we have for this week. Remember, the strength of the wolf is attacked. And the strength of the pack is the wolf.